This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash skinner. All right, I'm back out on a foggy ocean again uh, with Rick on Rick's boat. We have Mark Melnick up in the bow, just getting started. Hey, this is how I carry my gear. I've got uh, the bucktail separated into different weights, two, three, four, five, six ounces. Um, also a Ziploc bag full of teasers. I've got some cereal bars in there, a side pocket with liters. Um, and uh, I never put wet bucktails in those bags. If I use a bucktail during a trip, um, I stick that in a side pocket when I get home. I rinse it with fresh water, I dry it, and only then will it go back in the bag. And this way, the things keep from getting rusted, and I'm semi-organized there, and uh, have things pretty much where I want them when I get out in the water. And I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. And this is our first drift. Big sea bass. Oh, maybe not. Looks like a nice one, right? No, it's a fluke. <laughs> Actually, I need the net. Coming up. Definitely, yeah. Get back down there. Oh, you're on. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> I'm getting hit. Oh, this is a good fluke. Nice one. Come on. Wow. Oh, boy. We'll put you on the fish, huh? Nice job, Rick. Nice fish. Well, that's a nice start. <laughs> Oh, way to go. Oh. Yeah, so this is my fish, and this one is Mark's, uh, even a little bit bigger. Great start. Now, Rick, yeah. we're going we're gonna to pound that. Pound it. You got it. Let's go, let's, go right, let's go right back up there. So it's usually pretty easy to tell whether you have a fluke or a sea bass on. The fluke have the, that vibration of the rod tip, uh, the head shaking, and the sea bass have a more deliberate pull. But we're going to get some other species in there to confuse things. I think you have the boat turned differently than last time. Need the net? No. Sea bass. Good one, though. Ooh, I'm not so sure what this is. Unless I just... I don't know what the hell. No, no, I mean, it just... Oh, I see. I couldn't tell because it's two of them. No, it's a blue fish and a sea bass. No wonder I couldn't tell. Grabbed it on the way up, I guess. Wait. Oh no, I'm just turning my head away from the splashing fish. Well, it's, it's definitely a keeper, so okay. we, well, I guess we're keeping keep it. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Ooh. Oh, yeah. There you go, Rick. Oh, yeah? You, you got him. All That's right. a fluke, yeah. I got, I'll take the net. Nice fluke. Yeah? Little guy, no? Well, he's definitely a keeper. He'll, he's only looking a little be, because of those <laughs> other two. The yeah, nice right. one. Yeah. Oh, great. Thank you for that. 
All right, we have a nice 1 to 1.5 mile an hour drift here with uh, very little wind, uh, and we're all using 3 ounces. We're in about 70 feet of water. Tell you one thing, though, I wouldn't leave this spot for the rest of the day. <laughs> the way things have been, you know? What do you got there? Ah, uh, sea bass. Uh. Nice one. Big, big, big. Biggie, big. Nice one. That's what we want. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. I'll, uh, I got the net. So note when I'm out of the water, I put my rig back in a um, jar of gulp juice, so it's uh, recharging. It's a big net. Big. It's got some potential, right? Oh, oh my oh. god. No, still yeah. Oh, that's gonna be a big fish then. I thought it that's was a tail good. kick then. Come on. I think that's got a lot of potential because those those are pretty deep. Are you kidding me? What is that? Okay, it's a good one. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah. Yeah, he's just coming straight up. I couldn't see him. But yeah. No, those tail kicks were a good. All right, thank you. And you know where we caught this? Right on that mark where we caught the other two. Okay. Isn't that something? I told you we got to pound that and spot. What did he? What did he hit? Oh wow. That's right, he hit the John Skinner bucktail, for heaven's sakes, with the salmon gulp. The whole thing, the universe is in sync. Wow, Ugh. look at that. All right, skip ahead to Rick's next drop, and he pulls up this nice sea bass, and I'm showing the sea bass because, um, yeah, it's going to play into something that yes. happens pretty soon. He's got a real good one there. Look at that knot on his head. Yeah, that's the kind to keep. Definitely, yeah. All right, you're going to see a real good example on this one of the vibration that a fluke puts on the rod tip. No, look at the. That's not a sea bass. That's a oh, fluke. It's a fluke. Yeah, it's just oh. not big. But I don't think it's big. It's definitely a fluke, though. Cool. Oh, I'm gonna let you know in a second. I think he might be fouled or something. Or, oh yeah, it's a decent fluke. Yeah. Decent fluke. Okay. I gotta keep him moving. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> All right, wait, I'll wait, bring wait, one. There you go. The there you go. Beautiful. Nice one. Thanks. That's my fault for not saying, you know. Thanks. Perfect. All right. Maybe that little wind shift is enough to put us on a little different drift or a different. Oh, sorry about that. Is he float? No, he's gone. Come on! <laughs> uh, that was my monster sea bass. It was. Sorry, Rick. <laughs> well, here's the thing. You know, Rick, you might lose fish at the net. I lose them after they're in the boat. Now, that <laughs> takes skill. That's right. <laughs> yeah, there were two fluke in there, bled out, and a lot of blood, a little extra water, and there was a sea bass at the bottom of the bloody water. Didn't see it, dumped it over. <laughs> that was the big one Rick had. I am never going to hear the end of it. And he did turn the boat around, and we looked for it, but didn't find it. Oh, fluky. Fluke. Yes, definitely. A decent one. I... I definitely need a net, yep. Right. Definitely. Be, be ready with that net now, Mark. Although, you know what? what? It could be a bluefish. He's coming out. Coming out. 
coming up out? Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Yeah, that's way too high. Yep, bluefish, sorry, never mind. He must have hit it on the way down or... Oh yeah, they had the head shakes beautifully, yeah. They do, they shake like that. Oh, that sucks, he fooled me for sure. Big one. Yeah. Yeah, at least I didn't lose the bucktail. Yeah. Yes, a net. And this time it's not a bluefish. This is a good one. Really good one. Oh my God! I can't believe it's a bluefish. <laughs> oh my God! You saw the fight, right? Oh yeah. How did that not look like? And it wasn't swimming out. Right? How did that not look like a fluke? I can't believe that. Oh, I am so pissed off. heart was pounding. You know what it is? It's stupid. It's <laughs> uh, yeah. You make me angry. It's probably in the slot too. Yeah. Son of a gun. Wow, that really, every aspect of that fight was fluke. Well, I guess because it didn't it didn't swim out, up, run, or anything. Yeah, the striper isn't the whole story. Where's my bucktail? Uh, so, all right, I, I think I know what happened here. Damn it! Well, I said it wasn't a bluefish, so I wasn't... All right, I think we're three years. Yeah. Wow. You know what, though? Well, wait, you know what? There was a, uh, remember when it, all that weight went off? I lost my bucktail, so I think I had, I had two fish on there. I don't know what that other one was. Right, right, remember that? They had, that was it coming off, two fish pulling against each other. So we'd seen some birds working up on top, and I think what happened was I did have a good fluke on there. Certainly every a aspect of that fight felt like a fluke. Um, but then there was that funny motion where we kind of gasped um, about two-thirds of the way up, and then it lightened up, and what had happened was um, a, a bass 
grabbed it on the way up, two fish pulling opposite directions on the rig. The bottom part of the rig broke off. I lost the fluke. I got the bass. So, all right. Hey, the wind's really cranking. We've got the drift sock out, and uh, Rick's got a fish. No drama netting. Ink. Nice. All right. All right, we're back in business. Why, I believe it's on that John Skinner bucktail again. Of course. Does it every time. Available at Vigo, J and H Tackle. <laughs> it's just the slowdown of the current flight now. Okay, five out of the six keepers so far did come on the bucktail. When people tell me that almost all of their fish are caught on the teaser, I tell them that there's probably something wrong with your bucktail. It's probably too heavy. If you're too light, you're probably not catching. The forecast was five to ten knots. The nearest weather station at this point, uh, actually a little before this, is reading 23 miles an hour. Uh, we are over 30 miles uh, from Greenport. So uh, we're going to have an interesting ride back. And we're near the end of the trip here, so we've got the drift socks, six ounce bucktails. Uh, it's way too much scope, but uh, we're about to leave. Tide information and. I have no idea because I'm so scoped. Oh, I didn't think it's a fluke, but it's just so pathetically scoped. Definitely a fluke. It's a netter, for sure. Yes, this fish is very important to me, or else Rick's gonna be high hook. At least I could tie him. Yeah, let me knock it I, off. I, <laughs> I'm gonna knock yeah. it off for you, okay? That's just to get even on my fish you threw overboard. Loki coming up. Nice one. Nice fish. Wow. All right. All right we're getting some nice, respectable fish today. <sighs> Six ounds of bucktail and a lot of scope and a drift sock. Now, fortunately, we had the wind and seas behind us for that trip back, but uh, yeah, it was rough all the way back to Greenport. What you're seeing here is uh, we are all the way back at Gardner's Island and uh, it's still rough. So, all right, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe.